Ding. Rampage. Hey everyone, welcome back for a brand new video about the show that loves to threaten to kill off your favorite characters, The Walking Dead. Go get her! Go get her! Warning, beyond this point, there are spoilers for people who are not up to date on The Walking Dead TV and comic series. This video will cover our theories on the next surprise death, but first we're going to take a look at the opening minutes of the Michael Kudlitz directed episode 7 titled Stradivarius, and we have to be honest, it's not looking good for Rosita here. <sighs> Episode 6 would shockingly introduce us to the Whisperers, although we don't think they've actually been on screen yet. Most of us have seen this shot of Rosita looking scared in the woods from the upcoming promos, but the opening minutes of the next episode on AMC Premiere would show that scene in its entirety. It appears that Rosita has left Eugene in the safety of the mud and is trying to lead what she believes to be talking walkers away from her injured friend. Rosita is super creeped out as she hears more voices in the woods. And here's the worst part. We know this looks terrible for fan favorite Rosita, but we believe she'll be taken hostage and not killed. Either way, it's so scary to actually think of her alone in the woods with these freaks. That leads us into our theory of who will actually die. We all know there is usually a mid-season finale death, and the only character rumored to die around episode 8 or 9 is Jesus. We believe this rumor will prove to be untrue. We think that Rosita will be taken hostage by the Whisperers. We also think the creepy, low-talkers will take another hostage from another group, possibly Luke, as Luke does eventually end up on a pike in the comics. Kidnapping one of Magnus' group would unite them with our main survivors more as they would share a common enemy. We think that Father Gabriel will go looking for his new romantic interest and that he might even go to the water tower. An iconic death in the comics was Father Gabriel on a water tower and his killer was none other than Beta, who will be played by Sons of Anarchy favorite Ryan Hurst. In the comics, Gabriel is looking out from the water tower, but when a herd rushes the location, he freaks out, falls and gets caught by his ankle on the ladder. Beta then comes to help him. It's a pretty gory death even for the comics. We believe an easter egg to the shot was teased last season, but that this actual death is coming and nobody seems to know it. We scanned a lot of different sites and we couldn't find any information about Gabriel filming after episode 8 or 9. But the beauty of God's love and forgiveness is that it is bountiful. The funny thing is, when we checked Seth Gilliam's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we noticed his Twitter was on private settings. His Facebook reference an Instagram that is no longer an account, and scrolling through his Facebook feed, we see a bunch of pictures of Gabriel making the rounds in numerous conventions. The thing is, some of these conventions are during dates when episodes have been filming. We know Gabriel wouldn't have been in every episode, but we believe he could be finished with the show, and the reason his Twitter account is private is so he can post more freely about his life and not worry about spoiling his exit from the series. Maybe he just likes his privacy, but we think this is suspicious, and we'll get back to him after we look at the other possible characters who could die in the mid-season finale. In our social media searches, we did find this picture on Rosita actress Christian Serrato's Instagram showing she voted in Georgia during the same time they were filming the season finale. We're not positive, but believe that she lives in California and wouldn't be in Georgia if she didn't need to be there for work. Even though this isn't a solid confirmation, we think that this is strong evidence she will make it past the mid-season finale and are very hopeful her head doesn't end up on a stick. The other character heavily rumored to die is Jesus. A funeral was also mentioned, but we believe that the funeral would be for Father Gabriel and possibly even others like Luke. In the comics, it was Jesus who found Gabriel's body while preparing for a funeral for their dead. Jesus actor Tom Payne was in Atlanta playing a gig with his band while episode 15 was being filmed, and we think although his injuries will probably sideline him for a few episodes the way Aaron's did the first half of this season, that Jesus will rise again to righteously smite Walker and Whisperer alike. Jesus was in fact spotted on set after his alleged death, and even though he was in street clothes, we think this is evidence that he does in fact survive the Whisperer attack. To recap, Rosita has been in Georgia recently, Jesus has been in Georgia recently, and Father Gabriel has been doing a lot of conventions and for some reason his Twitter account is private. We believe Father Gabriel will be the one to die and that Rosita and Eugene may eventually end up together as they do in the comics. The question is, will Rosita be able to keep her head at the end of the season? We believe that there's more story to tell for both Rosita and Jesus while Father Gabriel's time may be coming to an end. Father Gabriel has been given significant story time this season, while Rosita and Jesus have not. We've also come to the conclusion that Luke's fate does not look good either, and we could get a double death in the midseason finale. Luke is only listed for six episodes on his IMDb this season, while Magna and Yumiko are both listed for eight. We know this isn't proof, but it is evidence that his character's appearance on the show could be short-lived. 
What do you think? With the midseason finale less than two weeks away and the grand spectacle of Rick's exit finally over, we think Angela Kang wants to shock us and leave us hanging, counting the minutes until the show's return in 2019. Shut up! Don't make this weird. We are making it. Come on, now! We wanted to end our video with a moment to remember the real-life superhero Stan Lee that passed away earlier this week. Lee undoubtedly influenced Robert Kirkman with his iconic comic book characters over the years. The company that publishes The Walking Dead comic books is called Image Comics. Comics, and co-founder of Image, Todd McFarlane, admitted the company's founding was inspired by Stan Lee. So without Stan, there might not be a Walking Dead. We also made a video tribute in his memory, but really wanted to acknowledge the way this great mind has helped shape entertainment in the 21st century. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for clues anywhere we can find them to help prove or disprove our predictions and to come up with even better ones. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram at Binge Rampage. Turn on the notifications button for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out and don't forget to subscribe if we start tomorrow right now no matter what comes next we've won